Hello and welcome back to my channel. It is time once again for another Main Street Mailbox. This box is the very first Disney luxury subscription box I ever started with. And the first one got me hooked. This box is on Crate Joy. Information will be in the description box down below. I do get the Castle Correspondent box, which is their higher end box. Now, this box doesn't look like it's Main Street Mail from the looks of it until you start seeing Magic Mail on the side. They got one on one side, one on the other, and then they hide my home address because I did have this shipped to my house and it's uh, they did print out Main Street mail and slapped it right on the top. Uh, they probably probably the bot the regular box was probably gonna end up being too bulged out for them to use but I don't mind them doing this because that means everything isn't shoved in there as much as normally would be. So let's go ahead and check out what's inside. Now I have been opening these boxes early just to kind of get a little bit of um, happiness endorphins. I'll call it that. As I am still healing up from surgery. So yeah, doing even doing this is actually hurting quite a bit. So let me move the box over to here, just so I can get at it a little bit easier. Okay. And actually, I was able to repackage everything a lot nicer. Now here is, I'm not going to do a sneak peek because I kind of moved everything around. But there was confetti on top of this, and there was confetti on the inside of it. And this is the first item up. It is... Here is the confetti. <laughs> See? I just shifted it. I put that out back there. And here is the first item out. It is a mini mouse lounge fly purse. And it has a unique handles just like the rainbow mickey as it is a mickey handle here now you do of course have the strap which when i go ahead to use this i will go ahead and use this strap because this is a little awkward to hold and carry but i do like this this may be one purse that I won't use too often simply because it is solid white and I'm afraid I would get it dirty. Now let's start with the front detail. We do have Minnie Mouse's signature and I can, I can guarantee you this is Minnie Mouse's signature. I have seen her sign things so yes it is Minnie's signature. And we do have Minnie Mouse, part of Minnie Mouse's head, it's kind of like just from just below the nose up so we do have her head here the eyes and the detail is so great because this part is puffy her head part is puffy her eyes are sunken so is her nose we have her upper her lashes here which are again sunk in I will get it closer to try and pick up the detail the bow is a very soft pink, and it's actually a different texture than the rest of the faux leather. It's kind of a... It kind of has the texture of um, suede. <laughs> so that is quite neat, as it does change texture. And here we go. There we go. See, the eyes are sunk in a little bit. So that is quite neat. And on the back, of course, we have the little lounge fly placard. 
and we have the bow once again and again it is that texture feeling so i do love this bag this again will be one of those bags that will only be used occasionally uh, maybe when i dress up <laughs> so yeah so let me see if i can find the name on the tag no, there is no name, but this is $82. Now, I do actually have a Pinterest with all of the bags I've gotten. And I tried logging this one, but I couldn't quite find this bag. So this one may be a challenge to put on Pinterest. So, of course, we have the... This is the spoiler sheet, so we will go ahead and wait on that. And everything else, aside from the inside, such as my little card, it is, of course, the poisoned apple. I do love it. And, of course, there's always a handwritten note on the back. Amy, we hope you love these items we chose for you. Main Street Mail. So very cute. Now, I did have this shipped to my house just so that my P.O. box would not be overwhelmed. And I can't get up there as soon as something drops. So, yeah, I emailed them and said, hey, you know what, can you do me a favor? have my October box shipped to my house and I was able to do that without having to change everything because I am on a three month plan so perfect love them for doing that and let's go ahead and see what's inside of here now some of these items I did open some I did not now if you did watch my Halloween unboxing you will recognize this business card. I'm going to actually turn it here and put it down at the bottom. And this is from Destination Vacation Design Studio. And that is their small business card. And what this is, is an item that you put, well, it shows you right here. You put whatever the item is through your straw onto your reusable cup and it makes it decorative and this month I got a Mickey head and it is purple it's not going to show up very well on the camera unfortunately but it is light purple and I do love it I cannot wait to start using it very very cute Okay, let me put this back into here. Just there we go. <laughs> so I do love it. It it is a Mickey head, and it is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> very very perfect. Now, once I actually get everything out, of course, out of the purse, I will be able, of course, to show you the inside of the purse. Okay, next item in here it is wrapped up in bowl wrap. And I'm going to actually do this the easy way and just cut the tape. Just so I have an easier time of getting it open. And then I have to figure out which way this thing opens. There we go. Here we go. It is a Mickey. It is a pin from a pin set. They do try to break up pin sets and try to give you characters they know that you're going to like, especially if they don't know if you're going to like the entire pin set. Plus also those pin sets are quite expensive so that can cut into everything you get so this box you are guaranteed 
in this level four to five items. So that can cut into that four to five items very quickly. And it is a queen of hearts, one of three, queen of everything. So I do like it and it is a tradable because it does have the Mickey head pin backing. Now I will of course look to see the if I can find the pin set for this so that I can get the rest of them. But I do love the Queen of Hearts. She is very much me when I am in work mode and I'm very focused. And I have to yell at people. That is me. Believe it or not, yes, I do. I am a medical coder and biller, which means I have to be mean sometimes. And, yeah, I've made people at insurance companies cry. Yeah, I am that mean. And I don't say I don't apologize for it because I know the reason why I'm doing it. So I do love it. There is so few Alice in Wonderland items, especially Alice in Wonderland, the Queen of Hearts. So I do love this. And I will go ahead and look for the rest of the pin set and get it. So this is also, an, I, think, I think I like this, them only giving you one of them because you know what? If you don't like the pin, then, you know, you can re-gift it to somebody else. And you're only having to re-gift one pin. So far, I've always loved the pins they've gotten me. So very stinking cute. Okay. I think this is the last item in here. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to show you the inside of the bag. It is kind of plain for a lounge fly bag, but it is quite deep because, I mean, this was in there. So this will be very, very useful. And no, no damage was done to the, to the lining. So they are always very careful when they do have to stuff things in and here is the inner lining it is light pink with black polka dots as i said very tame for lounge fly now i don't know what this is i haven't quite looked at it yet so let's go ahead and take a look Come here, buddy. You're going to help me show off this item. Here, you can hold it. Because, of course, it's Pooh Bear related. Ooh, snuggles. <laughs> now, of course, I could not take him with me to the hospital. Simply because plushy he can hold germs so yeah i could not have him with me this time i did actually take him one time actually my mother brought him to me i was in the hospital i was only supposed to be in day surgery so i was supposed to be in and out it ended up being a four four day stay i actually asked her to go home and get me pooh bear because i was in so much pain and I was so uncomfortable that I needed something just to grab on to. So, yeah, he's always been there whenever I've been sick. So this is, it is, it is a music box. I do love music boxes. I am hoping that it does not, it's not wound up because unfortunately it's nighttime and people are sleeping. But it is Winnie the Pooh. We have the Fab Four. We have 
Pooh Bear, Piglet, Eeyore, and Tigger. <laughs> Let's go ahead and I do love the simplicity and the sides. It's just gold lines. The top is all shimmery gold. There we go. Let's go ahead and see what the inside looks like. Please don't let it be wound up. We cut okay shouldn't and of course the scissors I have right next to me Are dull. There we go. Oh, that is too cute. And the little thing that goes around, it is a little bumblebee. This is too cute. I do love this. And it is quite perfect because guess what? I can put that in here. I could put the pin in here. Perfection. Everything is all in here. I don't have to worry about it flying all over the place. Oh my god, I do love it. I do like jewelry boxes. I did mention that I would love a jewelry box. I would love a musical one. And the fact that it is Winnie the Pooh, that just seals the deal. Oh my god. This is too perfect. Now... I did forget to mention, if I ever look like I'm not as excited as I normally would be, I of course am taking pain meds, so of course that can affect you. So let me get this. Back into the plastic oh my god and this will actually go up right up for display as well oh my god main street mail nails it every single time I've never had a box I don't like Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Let's get this back into the bubble wrap to keep it safe. And let's go ahead and take a look at the spoiler sheet. Okay, and of course it says spoilers ahead. Okay, now the box I get is the $99 box, so they always try to do more than the box dollar amount that you spend. Okay, so the bag is just listed as bag, it's $75. Let's 
Was it 75? I thought it was 80. Oh, they did. They did price it wrong. The boxes, the bag is actually $82. So I'm actually going to have to pull up my calculator. I am filming on my laptop. A little easier. Okay, so 82 for the bag. The jewelry box is... Thirty-four ninety, and that is correct. Four ninety plus the straw topper, which is four dollars and ninety-seven cents, which I have looked them up. That is correct. And the pin was one of three. Now, what they do for the pricing on that is they will take the price of the pin set, round it up, especially if it's like. $14.99, which is what I think this pin set was. They'll round it up and then divide it by how many they've given out to you. So the pin is $5. So the price they put on here was $119.87, but the actual total of what I just totaled up was $126.87. So this is way worth more than what the box was priced that I paid for. And that's why I love this box. They always give you more than the value of what you paid for. And you have to figure, if you were to get all of this and buy it from different places, you would have taxes from some places. You would have the shipping, which they do a flat rate ship. I can't remember what it, what it is per box, but it is quite reasonable. And you have to figure, for everything I got here, you would end up spending way more in order to get it. So, yeah. Definitely, Main Street Mail is well worth the price. Plus, I mean, you get a hand-drawn painted little notes. Okay, you guys, I think if you guys have been here long enough, you know that little personal touches like this knock it out of the park for me. So once again, another great Main Street mail. Now, for December, they will actually, if you are going to be subscribing and you want a box for Christmas, sign up now because they will be skipping December for new subscriptions because they want to kind of take a break, take care of their existing customer base. So yeah, if you want to get it for December, make sure to sign up now. So. As all you now, I will. And also, I will be running a giveaway once I hit 100 subscribers. So please, until next time. As always, remember: wear a mask to protect yourself and others. Don't forget to wash those hands, and don't forget to keep right on. Bye bye.